Hail hail, Celtic fans, just look at this. I wasn't expecting this at all. I nearly fell off my chair when I heard the latest news coming out of Celtic Park. Hot off the press from Celtic Park and stirring things up this afternoon. This is massive news for the fans. I'll be telling you all the details in just a moment. But first, please leave a like so you're always up to date with the latest Celtic news. Now, without further ado. Let's dive into the news that's got everyone talking this afternoon. Celtic has a unique opportunity to secure around £48 million if they advance to the knockout stages of the Champions League this season, as revealed by sources from Football Insider. This massive amount represents not only a significant financial boost for the club, but could also leave their rivals' ranges in the dust further intensifying the Glasgow rivalry. Celtic's place in the Champions League was secured after winning last season's Scottish Premiership, defeating Rangers. In addition, recent changes to the UEFA format have brought even more potential earnings for clubs participating in this year's tournament. According to the Times, major Champions League teams like Celtic could earn up to an extra £23 million due to changes in the competition's format. With the number of teams in the group stage increasing from 32 to 36, all teams will compete in a single group with eight matches, four at home and four away. Celtic kicked off their European campaign with a convincing 5-1 win against Sloven Bratislava, but soon after suffered a heavy 7-1 defeat to Borussia Dortmund. However, Brendan Rodgers' team showed their strength and resilience by drawing 0-0 with Atalanta to last Wednesday, leaving everything wide open for the upcoming rounds. Now, Celtic faces two away games against Dinamo Zagreb and Aston Villa, as well as three crucial home matches against RB Leipzig, Club Bruges, and Young Boys. Every game will be vital in securing that coveted spot in the knockout stages. UEFA's official documents, released in March, reveal that every club participating in the Champions League receives a fixed amount of £16 million. But that's not all. With UEFA's new performance-based payment system, clubs can accumulate substantial earnings throughout the competition, based on the coefficient ranking and TV market. Moreover, for each group stage win, Celtic bags £1.8 million, and even draws bring in a reward of £583,000. If the team secures automatic qualification for the round of 16, the club could receive an additional £9.2 million. Meanwhile, clubs finishing between 9th and 24th place will earn £830,000 for participating in the playoff round of the knockouts. But the real prize comes for teams that finish at the top of the table after the eight group stage games. The top eight will receive a bonus of £1.7 million, while those finishing between 9th and 16th will secure an extra £830,000. And that's without mentioning the additional payment based on each club's individual ranking. At the moment, Celtic's 20th position would earn them £3.9 million, but there's room to climb higher. If Celtic qualifies for the knockout stages, the Scottish club could secure nearly £48 million, counting all the bonuses and payments. This figure dwarfs the £12 million that Rangers could collect if they also reach the knockout stages of the Europa League. Now, Celtic fans, I ask you, with all this money at stake and the opportunity to dominate not just in Scotland but also on the European stage, do you think Brendan Rodgers' team has what it takes to progress and secure this huge payday? And how do you feel knowing that Rangers could fall far behind in financial terms? Share your thoughts in the comments and let's keep the conversation going.